Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play now. Today with a game called the Camper Jumper Simulator. Yes, you are getting two of these a week now and hopefully I'll be able to make two of these a week uh, for some time or maybe Roll could pitch in and we'll do three of them. We'll see. So what is this game? Well, with a name like Camper Jumper Simulator, you are correct in thinking that this is a very accurate space sim in the vein of Kerbal's... No, it's not. It's not that. This is a, a joke game, sort of. It's not really a joke game. It's... It's the kind of game you used to see constantly online. It's made by No Brain Studios, which sounds about right, and it's made by Playway. It's published by Playway. Say that gave me this uh, code for the game. It's just three bucks on Steam, and yes, it does have cards. If you're one of those card farmers. You're probably one of them, aren't you? Yeah, I'm guessing so. So, what is this game? Like I said, uh, this used to be a prevailing genre of video games about 10 years ago. Uh, I remember fondly the classic game... Uh, Oh, what was it? Um, Off-Road Velociraptor, Off Velociraptor Safari. It's sort of like that game. Only this one is about... Um, it's mostly about being... Why, okay, I can switch back. It's mostly about being a joke about... Um, come on, go back. Spaceballs. Because this is, the, this is a Lone Star's Winnebago. This is a Lone Star's spaceship from Spaceballs. Yes, this is Spaceballs, the video game. You also have access to other stuff like a uh, school bus and a uh, one of those uh, Volkswagen transit fan things, but we'll stick to Winnebago first, so let's get started. I couldn't do a demo uh, play of this thing uh, previously because, well, it, um, it sort of runs like crap. At least it did on 750. Okay, let's get started. There's a plane, you can probably crash into it. You may notice that there are people around, like there's people inside the... And there's a giant spider, because why wouldn't there be a giant spider? Okay, yeah, those people don't are not having a good time. You can also tilt and uh, move the... Um, the Winnebago, the transit, the camper, while it's in flight with the Q&A keys. Q&E keys, sorry. And yeah, the physics are... It, it tries to do some Havoc physics in there, but it mostly ends up being this. Constantly this. It, it's an interesting take on a video game. Now, like this is the kind of see the kind of thing you would see oh god damn it, I missed the turn again. It's nice that the people on the back of the uh, the camper van actually try to get up. It makes it a bit more funny. Because like hey, you're trying to do something no, it would be funny. I think these guys the, the way they're ragdolling that the way they're ragdolling, that may actually put a strain on the on the CPU that's uh, taking the frame from time to time. This is made on the, uh, the Unity engine, it's optimized, no. The optimization level is no. Uh, so don't really expect uh, that much out of it. Ooh, yeah, that was... If this, these guys had, uh, I don't know, x-ray mechanics where you could see their bones crushing and crunching, that would have been even better. Things will, will sometimes just fly off the map, fall down. Uh, this is a shortcut, I believe. And uh, you have three laps on each of these courses, I think. I've only played the first one. It had about three laps. Yeah, three laps. And your objective is to collect as many things as you can, get as high as a score as possible. Like there was a, there was a glowing thing, glowing star on the, uh, the house back there, which I can probably get on the next turn if I turn around now. I'm gonna get it on the next turn. And yeah, the objective is to get the highest score and everything possible uh, as well as you can. And... Uh, yeah, that's the core idea of the game. Also, it, you can unlock things on the drive. For example, there's this button. And when I actually complete an objective, like, can I move fast, move slower? If I can get at least a bronze cup on this track before I can activate this giant thing and it'll explode, probably. Not sure if I can actually get a bronze thing. Mostly because the controls in this game are horrible. And I think, I think that's the point. Like, you're, you're driving a giant, basically a van, it's not even a van, it's a truck almost. It's a camper van. It's worse. It's the kind of thing you would see exploded on top of gear. Um, I don't have any boost left, so... Uh... Oh, do I? No, I think I do have boost. It's just it doesn't show it. It just goes all the way to red. Did, is my thing exploding? You can actually change the camera, which is surprising. You have first-person camera in this. But not in most Need for Speed games. Also, I think this car. Yeah, I think my car died. It's not moving anymore. 
Can I swear it? Yeah, no, it's it's okay, it's back, it's alive, it's alive. So, should you buy this game? Honestly, I don't know, like I said, um, it, what was the name? Off-Road, Velociraptor Safari was kind of the same thing as this thing, only that, that thing was free. They tried doing a uh, paid version, an HD version, but uh, it didn't actually work out well and they couldn't finish it. This was before Kickstarter, by the way. They should probably revive the concept on Kickstarter because that thing was um, that thing was amazing when it came out. Like, it was an open-world game about a Velociraptor driving a jeep and running over Velociraptors and taking them with a uh, spiked bolt to a time portal to the future while they are turning to burgers. Yeah, that, that's a more fantasy concept than anything BioRiver came, came up with. Okay, come on. You actually see that he turns his hand to look, when he looks back, when I'm actually driving backwards, he turns his, the driver turns his hand. Like, you see that? <laughs> I'm not sure if they did that on purpose or if it's just, uh, or, or if this is just an asset flip game where they take assets from a uh, Unity store and just re-implement and this and that uh, animation was already there. Regardless of the fact, that's uh, that's a nice touch. You can't even see it that much. That's uh, that's what makes it so precious. Okay, should probably be able to fly up there if I was more careful. Ooh, yeah, that thing is bent out of shape badly. What if I can actually do a better job of flying around with this? Come on, man. We're up, up, and... Oh, I hit, I hit a tree. Okay, let's try a different uh, different stage with a different uh, thingamabob. Play. Next stage. Yes, let's try the... Uh, school bus, yeah. Why not a school bus? As you can probably imagine, this won't be a long show. That's a good part. Like I, I can actually make one of these if I do some uh, shorter shows too. Okay, this is the new map with a with a school bus. Now it's running at a fluid sixty. Also, the effect of blurring is atrocious. Like th that's not motion blur. That's fuzziness. Fast and furious. I got an achievement already. Uh, what's the achievement? Uh, it's uh... okay. I have no idea because there's no pop up to it. I can I can sort of hear the. The fans on my GPU really ramping up. Like I think they're about they're about it's about half now. This game is really that demanding. Hang on, I'm gonna check. Yeah, they're at half. Yeah, they're at half, and this thing is uh taking my GPU to about 70 degrees right now, 72 degrees. Yeah, the, this isn't what you would call the greatest game in terms of what the what's what the hell was the, did something just moved there, something big. Was that a whale? Is, is there a free willy joke? Is that the Loch Ness Monster? No, yeah, it's a willy. It's free willy. Yeah, uh, thinking this is an asset flip game. Because who would design, like, who would intentionally design a whale for this kind of game? Who would? Maybe the people that made this game, probably. I don't know. It's, uh... Is that a flamethrower? I think it was a flamethrower. Oh god, the, the blur effect is just a... Uh, there's no way to disable this, people. There's no way to disable it. It's not motion blur. I've seen... Mo this is motion... This is radial... This is not even... This... Yes, this is a blur effect. What the hell? Why are there chickens in my... Uh, are, are those people dead? Are they angels now? I think they may be. That's... That is a form of blur, but it's not motion blur. It's a... Uh, camera-ish blur that sort of looks horrible. It's it's actually making this painful to watch as I play it. And my mouse is stuck on the screen, I forgot about it. Okay, come on, let's let's see what we can do with this. Can we travel through the forest? Probably not. With enough accuracy, you could probably uh, go in that thing to show action. Press it to skip action. What action? Oh, it's, uh, oh yeah, 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 you can turn on the action camera. So it'll be uh, more cinematic and uh, compelling. Oh yeah, there's a, there are chickens inside too. Yeah, this is a bigger thing, so there's chickens inside it. Look at those people walking like zombies. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the flamethrower. Every turn something new activates. So let's get through this. I wonder if we can actually bump into free will right there. Oh yeah, we can because the... Um, the oh, now it's... Oh my god, there's a golden cow. 
Can I pray to it? Yeah, I know God will smite me if I do, but can I pray to it? I mean, it's, it's a golden cow, come on, people. You, if you see a golden, ha uh, golden calf, you have to pray to it. It's, it's, it's what we do. Yeah, I can't even knock it over. Oh, there's a chicken. I think I collected the chicken. Yeah, I think I just collected that chicken. Okay, so in this game you can collect chickens and pray to uh, to golden cows. Okay, it's it's honestly looking a lot better than it did uh, two minutes ago. Not good, but better. <laughs> there's there's a difference. What score does this thing even have on Steam? I'm curious. Like I'm not even playing it right now. I'm just letting it do its job on the background. Positive. How? Okay, it's it's three bucks, yeah, but you can get some interesting games for three bucks on sale. True, those don't actually let you um, kidnap chickens. Why are those two guys just standing around there in front and? Yeah, come on, get back. Okay, I jumped through right through that, and I missed a chicken. And now that thing is uh, what? Okay, it didn't crunch me this time. Okay, I'm gonna look at the controls a bit because I, I think I'm a bit confused about what Q and E do. No, that's that's turning all right. And back quote. What the hell is a back quote? No, really. What what's a back quote? Oh, this thing. That that's not a back quote. That's that's the tell the key. Collect six chickens with the yellow key, within the. Oh, I didn't get all of them. Blow up the golden statue with ex using exploding sheep. Okay, people, there is an exploding sheep on this map. We have to find it. Do you, do you understand me? So write in the comments where the exploding sheep is, and I'm going to try and find it. Yes, I can see your comments being typed right now. I can see the future, okay? Like, like in that movie, Arrival. Oh, I spoiled the movie for you. But the aliens could see the future in that movie. That, that, that was the whole idea. The whole idea. Break, 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 rift, 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 rift. Fire. It's alive, it's alive. No, it's actually fire. I think the chickens are dead. Okay, so where would the sheep be? Exploding sheep. If I were a sheep that was going to explode, where would I be? Okay, I, I would be in worms. Ah, damn it. Didn't get any medals. Yeah, got some records, but still no. Just this thing. For five seconds, keep the speed above. Yeah, that, that wasn't really that much. Let's try a different track. Let's try this one with the other car, the last one. Oh, we're already going on almost 15 minutes on this thing. Okay, let's do a backflip. Okay, yeah, that's some Tony Hawk level uh, type of uh, craziness right there. Okay, what when I when I click on the next challenge button? Oh yeah, now it works. Silver. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. I believe that this is more open. Yeah, this is the open world level. This is more akin to what the uh, off-road Velociraptor Safari was. More of a uh, open worldish game. Like there's a uh, UFO there, and uh, the UFO pro is projecting a. Why am I not? Oh, I think the UFO is exhibiting some sort of gravity and the gravity thing. Oh, no, wait. When I jumped through that thing, I was supposed to fall on the, the middle of it. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. You know, if they had a multiplayer to this thing and uh, let you do more stupid stuff in it, yeah. I'm guessing it could be a fun game right now, which is probably a game that people get to uh, farm uh, things in it. Is that a cannon? Can I f actually fire that cannon? I think I can fire the cannon. I'm not sure how. Yep, I fired a cannon. So you're supposed to move it with your with your car and then somehow fire it accurately. Yeah, that's I'm giving this game points for creativity. Like it does have some creative ideas and my God, are the fans on this thing just going nuts? No wonder this thing game, this game run ran badly on the 750. This thing probably needs a, a GTX 1080 to run properly. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff you can activate in this uh, in this level. 
So yeah, it's it's a neat game to explore, but uh, well, it's got well three euros isn't all that much, unless you you spend it on humble bundling and get more games. But uh, I don't know. Like this is the kind of game you would see for free on uh, Blurs.com on from Flashbang Games back in the day. The engine burned out. Uh, poor engine, it burned. Let's see if we can actually get uh, get to that giant uh, tripod. The the one. That, ooh, I can actually go. Ah, don't drift. I gotta say, physics aren't as bad as they are in the crew. <laughs> okay, I, I kid, but they're they're not far off. Come on, oh boy. Get, get there, come on. 8,000 points and that's meaningless. No, don't flip me. I was going the other way. I wanted to go the other way. <sighs> I'm gonna go back this way and maybe, maybe. Nope, missed it completely. Jump after the bonus zone. Yes, I I jumped after it by mistake. Let's go visit the tripod and I'll end this uh, this video and spare you all the suffering. Where was the tripod? Oh yeah, there it is. Can the tripod actually... God damn it, stop bouncing around. Can the tripod actually kill us? Let's see what happens when... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I've seen a tripod before somewhere. Let's see, uh... Oh, the tripod kills us. Okay, I got it. Well, that was it for the uh, play now of Camper Jumper Simulator. It's on Steam right now. You can get it for just 3 euros. It probably has cards, doesn't it? I think I saw somebody that does have cards. Probably because I got cards while playing it. Well, not really much to be said about this game. It's odd that they're selling it. Because, again, this is something you would see uh, for free. Like, uh, well, come to think of it, there even off-road Velociraptors of Heart, even off-road Velociraptors of Heart had a paid version that you could play and not have a time limit. A time limit. Same with the uh, Time Donkey, which was a game about a, don a donkey that could use itself and past situations to achieve, uh, to get to Traverse level. It was sort of like uh, Prince of, uh, no, like the um, Adventures of PB, something bottom, the one of the pies. Uh, Basically, this is a game that should have come out 10 years ago and it would have made waves back then. Now, now it's in, it's stuck in the flood of Steam games and no one really cares about them anymore. So I'll be back soon with a play now of something else and uh, something other than this. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just $2. And as always, if you thought it was horrible, you know where to find me and complain about it.